guys, I'm back with another What's for Dinner. So tonight we're having beef stroganoff. I will set you guys up here and I will show you everything that you need for it and let's get started. Okay guys, so you will need today um, for the beef stroganoff, uh, one to two pounds of ground beef, which is here in my skillet, uh, a can of beef broth, I don't use the whole can, I just use about half of it, uh, one whole pack of cream cheese, about a cup of sour cream, salt and pepper and garlic for seasoning, a one pack of mushrooms, and a pack of egg noodles. Okay guys, so I've got my meat in the pan and starting to fry it up. You want to go ahead and start cooking it, and as you're cooking the beef, you want to go ahead and start a pan of water. So that way you can get it boiling for the egg noodles. Okay guys, and while we're cooking this, we're going to go ahead and season it with just a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and then I always put garlic powder in mine. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I love garlic on everything. Then we just give it a good mix around. Okay guys, so now that you see here that I've finally got my hamburger cooked, and also my water is already boiling, so I can go ahead and add the egg noodles in the water right now. All this, I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit on my meat so that it doesn't brown too much. And okay, we'll go ahead and add the one package of egg noodles in. Or you can use whatever pasta you would prefer. We just like the egg noodles better with beef strong enough. Give it a good stir so it doesn't stick together and clump up. Okay, we'll turn the heat down on the, the water just a little bit so it doesn't boil over. Okay. And my hamburger is done, so I'm going to go ahead and drain it. I'll be right back. Take these mushrooms. Um, make sure you wash them and clean them up after. Um, when you open them, make sure you clean them all up. And then you can just dump them right on into the pan. And then you let these cook and the pins for until they get nice and brown and small. I have the heat on it set to in between three and five. Um, if you would like, you could set it higher than that. Let me go ahead and show you what my noodles look like. I'm going to go ahead and open up the beef broth and pour a little bit in there with the mushrooms while they're cooking. I'll just put a little bit in there for now and then I'll put the rest in it after these cook up. And you just want to keep an eye on your noodles so they don't get too soft. And they'll get really mushy if you let them cook for too long. I'm 
turn up my heat on my mushrooms because it'll just cook a little bit faster. They're now nicely cooked. Um, now it's time to add the cream cheese and the sour cream. I add the full package of cream cheese in. I can get it open. Dump it all in here like that. And then a cup of sour cream, which I eyeball it. I don't measure at all. So I just put it in however much I feel. And then I just take it and I mash it up in there, let it melt. While this is cooking and melting down, I am going to try the noodles out and see. Noodles are almost done. Okay guys, now I'm going to go ahead and start adding the rest of the beef broth. Just a little bit more, not much. melted down, we're going to go ahead and add the beef back in. And I know I seasoned the meat with the garlic, but I put a little bit more garlic in the sauce as well, just to give it more flavor. done now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drain the noodles. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burners. All right. And now right here. And we're going to pour it into that we got that poured in, we're just going to mix it all up. <laughs> okay, and now here is the final product. And that's what it should look like. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, hit in the comments and tell me what you'd like to hear on my next, my next video. Thank you.